We're going to get started setting up Autodesk's Fusion 360 for our CAD class. Make sure that you go to the autodesk.com website and choose Fusion 360 for teachers and educators. You can create an account if you've never created an Autodesk account. Use your PVCC email and then you'll have access to download the software. Once you've downloaded the software and installed it on your Windows or Mac machine, then you should get a setup screen here to sign in. So make sure that you use your account that you created and test to make sure everything works. Once you've logged in, we're going to set up our workspace and look at a few of the items before we get started in 3D modeling and drawing. Over at the top right, we have access to preferences in our profile. So the first thing that we're going to do is select preferences and these will stay for this particular computer that we're using. So if you move to another computer, the preferences generally don't stay even though the software is cloud-based. The first general settings, I want to make sure that my default orientation for my modeling is Z up. That's very important. As far as pan, zoom, and orbit, you're welcome to play with some of the different options. And for free orbit, I just like the plain free orbit. We're going to make sure that our standard units for our design are in inches or millimeters, whatever we're using. So right now I'll choose millimeters. And then same just for our cam, we'll do millimeters as well. And I like to make sure they match. All of the other options you're welcome to look at and play with, but those are going to be the first few things that we need to get started. Hit OK. And what we'll do is exit out of that particular tab, and that should have saved our changes. We can always double check by going back into our preferences and looking at our design, and we can see that it's in millimeters. We'll hit OK. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that our view cube looks exactly like it is on my screen. And in order to, to do that, we need to make sure that that Z is up on the top face here. So if yours does not look like that, click one of your faces that needs to be the top and put set current view as top. Or if you're selecting the front, do set current view as front. Rearrange your cube and you can reset your home. And then set current view, fixed fit to view is the best strategy. Okay, once you have reset your faces, this won't actually change until again, you exit out of a tab and then reset the workspace. Make sure that your view cube looks exactly like this. That will help in our model orientation. The last thing that we're going to do is look at grids and snaps here at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is turn off snap to grid. So make sure that the snap to grid setting is off. You're welcome to leave the grid, but just make sure that snap to grid is off. And then from here, we should be able to get started with each of our drawings. Make sure if you move from computer to computer that you look at some of these changes.